when I paint, one of my objectives and others is to express myself and my emotions through color. But how exactly do we do this? Well, first off, I'd like to define my own art so you get an idea of my knowledge for colors and color theory. I always categorize myself as an expressionist artist. You see, I desire to capture the light of the human spirit and all of its emotions through vibrant color schemes that not only depict said feelings, but also burns off of the canvas and radiates a glow that can only be described as light. I got this idea from looking at old 1960s psychedelic band posters and Vincent van Gogh's work. They'd almost vibrate and bounce off of each other. They looked almost alive. One key component to the idea of emotions being associated with color was defined by an art movement, the Expressionist movement. It was initiated by artists such as Edvard Munch, Kandinsky, and Francis Bacon. But what exactly is Expressionism? How is it influenced by color? How exactly do we convey our emotions with the right color palettes? So to begin, Expressionist is a modern art movement that emerged in the 20th century and often focused on the emotional and psychological content within a painting. Artists used it to convey their inner feelings and subjective experiences and even sought out to evoke the most intense of these emotions such as angst, and inner turmoil. I myself have very heavy subject matters such as existential questions, perceptions, and the inner psyche. You're probably wondering why I'm mentioning expressionism. Well, the truth is color played a very significant role in it. Unlike before, these artists would use bold, vibrant, and non-naturalist colors to convey their emotions and moods. They'd use these highly exaggerated colors to distort reality, creating a very intense atmosphere. For the first time, color wasn't necessarily tied to objective representation, but used to express the inner makings of the emotions they'd wish to communicate. This allowed artists, unlike before, to convey their feelings in a very highly individualistic and emotional manner. But how exactly do we use colors to complement emotions? Well, to discuss this, I'd like to go over the basics of color theory and how it's used to express it. Warm colors often resemble feelings of energy, excitement, love, passion, rage, and life itself. And on the other hand, cool colors such as blues, greens, purples can resemble that of dark emotions such as sadness, pride, depression, and greed. This isn't all the time, however, it also depends on the subject matter of the painting itself. For instance, they can resemble calmness, serenity, introspection, and tranquility. The intensity or saturation of these colors also plays a key role in influencing emotions. More bold and vibrant colors can heighten the intensity and excitement, while more pastel shades give a more subdued, melancholic atmosphere. In the painting I'm working on in this video, I'm going for an isolationist sentiment. This painting is called Desolation, and it's a very introspective outlook on isolating yourself. So I'm using more pastel bases such as ochre and ultramarine blue, toned down with titanium white to convey a more inside the mind type of look. While I'm doing this, I'm also using vibrant reds and greens to both convey rage and ego. You see, green is a great color to use to not only resemble life, but greed itself and perception. It's a very egotistical sentiment. It resembles currency, and most of the American dollars are green. This is persuaded by the fact that it's the most recognizable currency and a symbol for capitalism. Now, red and green are very unbalanced colors. When you introduce more values of them, they tend to harmonize. Harmony is very important when talking about color theory. Blues and purples really help balance this out of any painting, really, let alone this one. The use of analogous colors gives this piece more of a calming sentiment while also producing great movement through the painting. So in conclusion, the use of colors in paintings produce a dynamic array of emotions. Remember this next time that you create your own paintings or look for it in others. If you focus on this, you'll get a little bit more knowledge of the hidden meaning of a piece or even of your own subconscious. I hope you guys liked this video and I hope you found it informative in some way. My name is Torches and I like to go over my own artwork, I like to pursue knowledge and inspiration for not only myself, but for others. And I'll see you guys next time.